Men have different priorities as they grow from their 20s and onwards. In your 20s, you are looking for a wife to help build an empire. Buy some land, build a house, and a wife to turn it into a home to raise children in. In your 30s, you've already have the land and the house built. And now the women are noticing you, but they don't quit, like the nest that you've built. So you know you're in your 40s, still looking for a wife to make it a home. But those are 20-somethings. These 40-year-old women are just now realizing that they have to help bake the cake if they want a piece of it. Women generally fail to understand that the market determines their value, not their own self-perception. These older women mostly all perceive themselves to be far more valuable than the market dictates, which is why they get so frustrated and lash out against men whom they blame for this. For a woman, her value is the highest when she first enters the market, and it slowly declines in her 20s before dropping dramatically in her 30s. It's generally the opposite for men, where their value is highest in their 30s after establishing themselves in the workforce and making a good salary. Why are older women struggling to find good men to date? I know why. They're just so full of themselves. You see them all. I'm the whole package. I'm attractive. I'm independent. Yes, but are you really love? Are you fun? Are you able to be lovable? Or are you unnecessarily argumentative and a boss babe? Can you love a man for the person he is or are you only checking off a list of superficial requirements? There are made-up standards and then there are real standards. Be realistic and stop that entitled attitude. Nobody is required to worship you for simply existing. Are you even a great partner yourself? These are some of the questions older women need to ask themselves before they enter the dating market after hitting the wall. They gave all of their bedroom fun and desirable years to Chad, but they want to give their student loan debt and Chad spawn support to Brad. Hard pass. Then the real joke is they snubbed and shamed guys when they were young, but now that are 30 plus and get no attention, they're mad at the same dudes they ignored for a decade about not wanting them. To all my brothers, never accept a plate of food that's been eaten on and pick it over. Only accept the finest and freshest even if you have to eat at a different restaurant. The hilarious truth is that during their teens and twenties, they allow Chad and Tyrone to get the goods without any investment, as they bounce from bad choice after bad choice in the name of fun, till they get to their thirties, and they suddenly have standards and expectations for the sucker whom they expect to pay full price for the product now full of bad judgment and trauma. Meanwhile, Chad and Tyrone got it for free. This is the reality, cold and simple. Women have always survived with the help of men. This has been proven throughout human history, where women have managed to live without taking part in most wars or performing the majority of the taxing chores necessary to establish this civilization. However, despite all the crap for which men had to die, women eventually outnumbered men in the world. You are probably aware that women cannot survive for very long without men. And if it weren't for us standing up for them, they would have long ago disappeared. However, the reality still stands that they will use men as a method of survival, taking advantage of our vulnerabilities as their greatest strength. Women will always be able to exist off of men's sacrifices, resources, and protection until men get over their urge to bust and spread their seed. Men can only do it in order to prevent women from utilizing them to survive. Most men would have to quit protecting women in the future, acquire control of their desires, put their wallets away and allow the government to handle their affairs. This alone explains why women have been able to live and adapt to the point where they outnumber men and is the reason why the slogan women first exists. However, times have changed and we now live in a society where equality is the norm. With Meg Tao, men don't need to offer resources or protection to women. Men don't need to defend women any longer since they have the government to take care of them, and they also don't need to supply long-term resources since they can go out and bring home their own food. You don't understand women if you believe that they will simply die alone without any help. Just keep in mind that the monkey simps, hope strategists, and lonely single men who desire a partner outnumber us. We would need a lot more men to become RP and then choose to either go monk mode their own way or the free agent lifestyle. But that will never occur to be perfectly honest, in this life at least. Therefore do not hold your breath. We are held hostage by women, 
So believe me when I say that there will never be any change for the better for men. For instance, if a war broke out, we would have to take the shots and stabbings for them before they were ever required to grasp a gun and defend themselves. Lonely older woman will go to any length to be with men. Therefore, woman will always outlive men. Now, even if some woman will live alone, are you certain this will be the case until their passing? I want you to give this some serious thought. They will, in fact, be single. Although it seems most likely, how confident are you that they won't experience loneliness in the future? Because if you stop to think about it, a sizable and expanding segment of men and young men are single and lonely because their counterparts aren't interested in them. Accordingly, and on the basis of the research that is currently available, many of these older single women hitting the wall now will still be able to lure thirsty and lonely men. They will instead find a way to adapt and survive by using what's between their legs. Instead, they will adapt and prey on lonely young guys and unmarried men who are unable to attract women in their age group. Women know they can't lure Megtow men. But with men going their own way, their only true asset is not going to help them, and that's what scares them the most. So, they don't die by themselves. You guys have to realize that a man will always be willing to ignore warning signs in order to establish intimacy. This shows how intensely the want for companionship or relief is for males, and tragically, far too many of them are prepared to settle for anything less than pure release. Therefore, even if we want women to learn their lesson, the sad truth is that too many men are willing to give up everything they have fought so hard for in order for those men's need for intimacy. I'm sorry to break it to you, but if you think that most men will wake up and decide to end relationships despite knowing the red pill, you are mistaken. Even the guys who quit their relationships will ultimately come back into one, especially if they can't understand this red pill message anymore. Hold the line and hold the fort for the few of you who are determined to remain unmarried and pass away alone. Just know that you will have to give up your independence, serenity and quiet as soon as you decide to return to the plantation. If you're okay with that, carry out your duties. Almost half of the female population is going to be single and lonely. Do you know that by 2030 it's expected that a growing number of women will be single? In a recent piece it was predicted that by 2030, 45% of American women would be unmarried. It will definitely happen, gentlemen. There will be many ladies in the future who will be alone. It may not be 45 anymore. Now, that doesn't necessarily imply that they won't be prepared the hell down. No. They will be engaging in polyculturally to a large extent in addition to accomplishing that. That is definitely present already. So as time goes on, I anticipate it becoming more common. The truth is that leftover women live financially irresponsible lives for the most part. Women overspend, live paycheck to paycheck, and have so much emotional baggage that their ability to attach as a couple is permanently lost. They turn to antidepressants and other legal drugs like alcohol and cigarettes when they are in their mid-thirties and early forties and have trouble finding a man who truly wants them as a mate. However, this does not imply that men pay them no attention. Some males will thirst for any woman out there no matter what sort they are. These post-wall women have no idea how much they ruin their lives by being stubborn throughout their 20s and 30s, and how they play a core part in the feminist agenda to basically shatter their own reality, which they spend the rest of their lives regretting. Thanks for watching The Circle of Kings. As always, we're looking forward to your support. So please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to the channel to stay updated with everything. All kings like yourself need to know.